Good, how are you? We're looking to get started pretty shortly. Okay. Hi! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is hard to come by in Philly a couple days ago. Oh, I know. Guys, good morning. good morning. I started wrestling at six years old. The Ultimate Warrior, those were the guys that I really wanted to follow and be like. Watch the way he trains, watch the way he maneuvers and navigates life. So those, I started to realize I got a view where you yourself from because you guys aren't gonna have the same path. I know it's cold outside, but he's got the same dirty work boots on every day. And so I got zero calls that day. That day I learned this lesson is but the honor for me has been a great thing because everything I've learned from wrestling has translated into how I navigate the world, how I treat the people in my family and the people around me, my training partners, my coaches, but most importantly, my wife and my kids. Just the things that I've learned from wrestling. Dan Gable was an awesome wrestler, head coach of the University of Iowa, 15 time national champion. He was an Olympic gold medalist, world champion. He said, after you've wrestled, everything else in life is easy. So remember, we've all wrestled. To wrestle is to struggle, to fight through a difficulty or a problem. And after you've wrestled or after you've struggled, everything else in life is easier because of the difficulty you've experienced. So someday someone's going to rely on you. Someday you're going to have to do something special and it's going to hit you hard and you're going to look back to these days that you were an athlete, getting knocked down, being bloody and battered and having to get back up and continue to compete and give your best effort. And that's gonna change the way you perceive yourself, what you know that you're capable of, and how the world views you, and how you interact with it because of it.